just where I am. Yes, that is correct. Back on the moors. beast yo 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 trying to find out the beast of the moor do a solo camp on air one day solo camping you get varmints on here you know ferrets all jumping on your tent and they can smell you you can smell the scent they go fucking mad I'm telling you them ferrets on air can be a bit, a bit violent, you know, with ferrets. Got fucking sharp teeth, and that's sharp as fuck, man. That way, nothing. 400 miles from nowhere. Each direction, all around. You can get lost in here if you don't know what you're doing. You know. <laughs> These rocks have been here for millions of years, thousands of years. These rocks. Okay, you can have, you can have, if you had a bird on air man, you get very fucking dirty can't you? Beast on the moor, Seamus. No, it is lurking about there. Yo, 
yo-yo. You got aggers and all that on here, you know. Little reptiles and all that come out of the night. Rabbits. Pimp on me now, yeah. King killed me. Cut out. South east to south west. It is. That's a bright light there. Must be about 2,000 watts from it. 2,000 watt bulb. I wonder what the they are in the little mountain. Things that are like someone died or something in the moors. Yeah, they might have. Might have. Little mountains full of stone. Camping Joe. See what I mean? Like a fucking Blair Witch project. Oh, there's another one. Look in there. Anyway. You can't be a good. Yeah, campfire going, tent, couple of beers, get pissed. You're laughing. I think it's a, a fucking, I know, not voodoo ritual, what they call it. I think when, when someone's passed away in the moors, you know. It's like a fucking Blair Witch project. Show you, anyhow. Right there. I don't know what they are. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Nothing. For hundreds of miles. Hundred and sixty eight mile. A Pennine Way. Terrific burglar in London. Right, the, f the police have been after him for months and months, and for a year as well. And all of a sudden, he breaks into his house. Right, robs all the silver, all the jewellery, cutlery, the silver, Rolex watches, everything. Right, and he fucking takes a bath. And the police break in and said, right, Frank, we've got your bank to rights. And he goes, Frank, the CID officer says, what are you doing in the bath? He goes, I'm making, I'm making a clean getaway. <laughs> Can't, man. Can't beat him. Uh, 
traffic. Get lost on here, but I get fucked. It's been in like a different town. Okay, now I'm on. That's that bridge. Imagine going over that bridge. October is a fucking over 800 foot drop. Don't go dark while eight o'clock now. Haunted dolls. I am. Maybe tomorrow. I might do a new, I might do an investigation. And a couple of dolls I've got. I've got Angela the doll. I might do an investigation with her tonight. I might do. To see what Angela's got. The true power of Angela's spirit from the dark side where in where Eve evil slumbers the forbidden, the forbidden spirits of the underworld where all the proper Sick things come from demons and jinns and ukibus uh, and all that. Wind farms. Wind farms, fucking hell. with the gin. Got another joke. But in, oh, I know what that, how did it start there? Uh, oh yeah, Packer, Asian guy, and not a British guy. Right. He's a, uh, wakes up one wakes up one morning. Golden egg on the lawn. Right, he goes, oh bloody hell. Golden egg on the lawn. And the British goes, bloody hell. There's a golden egg on the lawn. And he, and he goes, and they both shoot downstairs. Right, and the, the egg, he's right on the edge of the two lawns. And he goes, that's my egg, mate, the golden egg. He goes, no, 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 under Indian law, you know, that is my egg. He went, nah, mate, ain't, that's British law. Right, and he goes, right, he said, we'll play, he said, uh, we'll play a game. You kick me in the bollocks, if I go down, you win the egg. And if uh, you can kick me, and he goes, right then, you go down, I kick you in the bollocks, you win the egg. And he goes, that is a fair price, you know, my friend. And he goes, all right. And the British guy goes, yes, I'll go first. And he goes, fucking boot, boots, mate, and fucking bollocks. And he goes, oh, bloody hell. And he goes, and he goes, right. And the fucking Asian guy goes to the British guy, right, it is my turn. And the British, and the British guy goes, you can keep the fucking egg. <laughs> 
uh, roaming around on the moors. About the the beast and the moors comes out of an eye, razor sharp teeth, claws, everything, jet black and piercing red eyes, looking for fresh meat. Big tick will it boom boom. Bam 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 bam. Them lights are so fucking bright, man. I don't know if they're 3000 watt bulb or whatever, or it's just the sun. That was another fucking thing. Game show. Bullseye. Fucking that was a weird, weird game. Right, you come out there and he goes, Right, if you, if you, if you get a, a dart like 10 out of 10, right, you win a brand new caravan. And he comes out there and two guys are pulling it back in the 1980s. Right, and he goes, This is what you could win brand new static caravan. And you and your family could go away and, right, and try out and push it back. Win that if you get this right. If you get the you can throw it down, you can throw it down, you get a right and carve it, but you didn't win. <laughs> we fucking talk about rubbing the salt in the wound. Four people, nothing ever, fuck all's gonna happen. No spirits will come out, right? But if you have about three people, right, or two, something's gonna happen. You know what I mean? These people, there are about seven, eight people in one house. Fuck all's gonna happen. No spirits are gonna come out, are they? Don't fucking, nothing's gonna be flying around. I don't want to see anything, there could have been too many people there. Not two or three. You know what I mean? And you might see something. You might see a fucking a door close or something. Or a pillar move across the fly across the room. Like that bungalow near me. But got a cloth bungalow. That's haunted. The bogger drove him away. Him and his wife. I spoke to my granddad that day, how can we move in? I said, something's in there, fucking, the spirits are not, you know, something's going wrong funny in my bungalow, things flying round and all that, TV remotes and stuff like that, flying off the shelf and stuff like that, so, drove him mad and him and his wife have moved away. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's happened, and that bungalow has been empty for over, for over 40 years. 1990, is it? 1992. That bungalow's been empty since 1992. That has. That bungalow. It's well haunted. I find no one will buy it. Plus, it's just gone. Gone down now. It's, the foundations are rotted and everything. Best off knocking it down. But no one will buy it. You could buy it. For about 200 grand. Do it all over. Imagine you build a house here, and then you got this as a scenery. All that. Anyway, that's the moors. See you later.